On that note, what about legal graffiti? I've been fooling with this for a long time since reading, I was reading a Vonnegut novel, The Mirror is a Leak to Another Dimension, and it just, I just thought, why do we think of the, of the surface on which graffiti or any sort of self-expression is put in public as so finite and something we got to fight? What if we embrace it, roll with it? Jump Street, a nonprofit organization in Harrisburg, are trying to open a community doorway to many who perceive the world of art as inaccessible and closed to the masses. The pilot project is called The Peace Wall funded by Arbor Education and Training. The Peace Wall slogan? Analog meets digital and lives happily ever after. <coughs> it is complicated, but it's very cool. We'll get to the digital side in a minute, but first to the Peace Wall. A 16 by 6 foot plywood wall stands inside the playground at 1801 North 3rd Street in Harrisburg, ready to be tagged or spray painted as they say. It's legal and open to the public with a few rules. Bring the positive leave the negative out, you know. Uh, no gang signs, no racial slurs, no sexist stuff, you know. And these are the rules the kids came up with. So the casual user, the community person, it's just like come in, get your own can of paint, come to wherever the, the wall is, in this case your neighborhood center, grab a can of paint, do what you want to do, come back the next day and see how yours weaves in with the other stuff, you know, how cool that, and then it goes away. And you go, now where did my tag go? This is where it gets complicated, or cool, depending on how you look at it. When the wall's filled, the tags are photographed and the peace wall is whitewashed. From there, the images are uploaded to the website, peacewall.net, and the next dimension, or multi-dimension, begins. The tags can inspire other artists. The users can merchandise their images onto t-shirts, coffee mugs, mouse pads, whatever. Or the image can be made into music. That's right, music from images. By assigning frequencies to colors and contrast within the photo through available software, you get this. You just heard that image converted into sound. Some simple audio editing, and you have the basis for a song spawned from your graffiti tag. I now have samples that, if you listen to, can be turned into, perhaps, percussion, a drum kit. This can start off as a kick, as a kick drum. If we ride that sound that's loaded in there, you can see on the spectrogram that it's, it's turning into the original photo. So you're saying people can paint on that wall and turn it into music? Bingo. The peace wall doesn't start and end with a wall in the neighborhood somewhere. That's the springboard. If that's where you want it to end, if that's the experience for you, that's wonderful. But it can grow from so much more in this day and age. For Smart Talk, I'm Mark Wallace.